Welcome to our channel. In this video we are continuing our trek across Poto Mountain. In my opinion, this section of the route contains the roughest roads with a lot of rock, a lot of bumps, a little bit of mud. Should you bring your family sedan through this section or through this route? I'll let you decide that after you watch these videos. I'm glad that we have the 2021 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk and that I have a little bit tougher tire. When we first got the Jeep Cherokee, this route was one of our first routes that we took after obtaining the vehicle. When we made the route the first time, we was actually coming from the west, from Oklahoma, and headed east to Highway 71. On the first part of the trail, we ended up slicing a tire with a sharp rock. Luckily, we found a camp area big enough that we could pull into and uh, the tire was sliced bad enough, I had to go ahead and put the spare on. There was no plugging it. Because of that, I decided that when we got home, I would go ahead and upgrade the tires to something a little more durable. When we had our Nissan Titan 4x4, we had BFG KO2s on it. And we ran miles and miles of dirt and gravel roads, and I never sliced a tire. I almost put KO2s back on the this Jeep, but decided I want to try something different, and I went with the Nitto Ridge Line, or the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. And so far, they are doing really well. I have not had any issues whatsoever. So we'll continue monitoring the tires as we travel and just see what kind of use we get out of them. But so far, I like them. Back to this route. Like I said, this is pretty pretty rough. We do pass some uh, dispersed campsites in this section. Uh, some awesome views. And some of the sites that uh, we talked about in the first video. This is an awesome route. We are really enjoying it. It is absolutely beautiful. And we hope that you get a chance to make this route yourself so you can see these views for yourself. But it's just an awesome trip. We're having a blast. This section is pretty long, which made for a pretty long video, but I did want to show as much of the road as I could so you know exactly what you're getting into when you start heading up this route. There's more sections of this route to come and also there will be sections as we head back east through the southern section of the Washita National Forest. So stay tuned for that. All that is coming soon. Hope you enjoy the video. So let's just get on with it. Y'all enjoy.
Okay, so right here the trail gets pretty rough and rocky.
This is steel section two. I just had to stop and take some of this in. It's just awesome. Lots of big rock. Trail's pretty rough. Big rocks. You can kind of see here. Just watch where you put your tires. Beautiful view. This is really steep. But we're going to continue on. Thank you. 
on the second section. It's a pretty slow go on this part. And we are at McCutcheon Mountain. You can read the sign there. And the road, that road, goes up that way. And we're not going that way because we have to continue west. Pretty steep coming up this way and very rocky. The section wide enough to pull over in this section of the road. Lots of fun guys. I'm really liking Poto Mountain. Like I said, we've done it before and it was really rough that time too. We actually had a flat tire on that trip. This time we're aired down and we have the new knitter.
instead of pulling the chainsaw.
we are still on Koto Trail 2 and this is a nice wide open area off the side of the road. Person might can set up and camp. the tire but it was slit so bad that plugs wouldn't work so I just went ahead and put the spare on and of course I had to unload the ISCO fridge and all the stuff I had in the back just to get the tire out the back end but you can see there's trail going off in the woods fire pit right here. I'll grab that styrofoam. Nice little camp spot, top of Pokoto Mountain. Continue on. 